Hi, <clears throat> it's Julie here, and um, I noticed in my email that someone had uh, left a comment on this video saying they hate the fact that uh, Skype accounts are now Microsoft accounts. So this video was created a while ago, um, December 25th, 2014. So it's like a year and a half ago or more. Um, and I was watching it and uh, I only made it to three minutes but I kind of vaguely remember that it turns out this video isn't true <laughs> um, it's kind of true and there's things in it that are true so I'll keep it up but I'm making a new video it basically when you make a new Skype account um, can you use a username and a password and so um, I got to create a new account and this is different now let me show you Changed a little bit from that video. Now the sign in button, there was two buttons up here and the second button had changed. It wasn't join, it was download. Uh, now there's just one button and it's got a pull down. So let's see what's in the pull down. So you've got my account, you Skype online, which is web Skype, not the application that you download. Um, so web Skype is there now and uh, new to Skype sign up. So I clicked sign up and I basically got to this page. So I thought, let's give it a try. And um, so I'm making an, a new uh, account here. And I, it does, after you fill in your um, profile information, uh, it does have Skype name here. So I'm filling that in. And the Skype name is not available. I wonder if I made one. dot shine that one's available okay but let me um let me just uh, I if I refresh the page Bing. okay so we fill in let me pause the video and fill this this top stuff in and then we'll get down to the username and password okie dokie <laughs> so I refilled in the top information um, name, first name, last name, email address, um, and uh, birthday, country, city, language. And now we do have Skype names, so it's not true that you are forced to create a Microsoft account to create a new Skype account or use a Microsoft account to create a new Skype account. You can use a Skype name. Only choose a name you have the right to use. It says down here in the gray note. And what is a Skype name? Your Skype name is your unique username for Skype. It must be between 6 and 36 characters. Start with a letter and contain only letters and numbers, no spaces or special characters. But um, a dot is okay. <laughs> okay, so, and then you make a password. Uh, okay. Okay, and passwords must be must have eight characters or more and at least two of the following uppercase letters lowercase letters numbers and symbols I have numbers and I don't think I have uppercase so I'll have an uppercase there all right um, and at least two of the following so I have well I guess I'll leave that lowercase um, you can have lowercase letters and numbers, so you have to have any two of these following, uppercase, lowercase, numbers, or symbols. So you put a symbol in there, you can all use all lowercase. If you put a number in there, you can use all uppercase, whatever, this is your password. Okay, so at least eight characters and at least two of the following. Okay, so it looks like it works. This should be fine. Oh my god. How do they want you to do that? Let me pause, see if I can get what happens when I get past here. Saying They're saying, yes, uh, you have to agree and that I have read and accept the Skype terms of use. You can open that in a new tab with a right click if you want, or you can read the Skype policy, open a new tab, and, and then you can agree. Oops, it wants the password. Okay, hold on. So their getting started page <laughs> um, 
it immediately, once you finish registering, it takes you to web.skype and it gives you this. This is new. <laughs> Welcome to Skype for web beta. Get in touch with your friends and family. So this is Skype on the web. They take you right to. Um, Skype for the web beta is not a replacement for your telephone. It can't be used for emergency calls. Right. By using the site, you agree to the use of cookies for analytics, personalized content, and ads. Read more about cookies. Uh, so it looks like they start you out on the web. Interesting. Now, if I wanted to add that to um, to my multi Skype launcher as one of my many accounts. Um, And wanted to use the password. I think it's on the card. Okay, let's see if it lets me log in, not just online, but on my computer. I'm looking for Skype. Oh, I have to click it and hit launch and run. There it is. It's logging in. It sure did. So it wants people to use the web. But if you go to your downloaded application, uh oh, it just crashed. <laughs> you have been signed out. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm using an old version of Skype. But anyways, it does. It did briefly let me sign in for a moment. Um, I can try using an older version of Skype to see if it lets me log in. Anyway, it does. Basically, my point is um, they are letting you uh, make usernames, the new Skype accounts that are username based rather than the Microsoft accounts. So this this is not a totally valid video anymore that I made back in December of 2014 on Christmas apparently. You can create an account with an actual username. Download Skype plugins. So they, they want to start moving everything to the cloud, to the web, so they start you out with Skype online. That's interesting. Not Skype the application. <laughs> Very interesting. So um, I can still get in my, my regular account, my other accounts, by launching this and then quit this uh, failed login. And there I am. You can see unread messages. Ta da! I'm online in the background. Um, using an older version of 7. <laughs> um, help and about tells you the version. Anyways, so you can log in. It just wants you to uh, just wants you to um, use the web. You can use uh, the application still that you download. Thanks for watching. Hope that helps. You can have Skype with you.